Okay, let's go freaking rescue Burning Man. Burning Man. Ignis. Oh, he on fire. He hot. That's hot. Well, I actually know you? You can barely stand to look at the thing. The blazing radiance surrounding it is terrible to behold. Ignis. Yes, long have I slept. Dreams of flames. I am yours. Till death comes for us both. Oh snap, he just Ignis hears you. Burn. He's in our he's in our party now. Whoa! Against your will you stop and listen. He thought to punish Ignis. The small flies from the hive. They wish to see Ignis burn after Ignis set fire to their streets. Your student Ignis Ignis has not forgotten master. What? Dude. I'm so confused. How? How would our past self do anything like this? And why? They were your words, and I came to repeat them to you and tell you they were true. He holds up his hands. Look, master. Grab his hands. Before the boy can react, your hand, huge in comparison, lashes out, crushing his burned hands in his grip. The boy screams, oh my god, wait. Crushing his burned hands in his grip? What? As you approach the woman to talk to her, Ignis' eyes flare up, and before he can stop him, he embraces him. She returns his embrace, losing herself in his flames. She does not cry out. Your last glimpse of her is burned into your memory. Her eyes are full of fiery passion and are engulfing love. Nothing is left of her, not even ashes. Oh my god, wait! That was thorough, Ignis, and hasty. I wanted to speak with her. Yeah, what? Jesus. You can't go hugging people, man. Alright. Yo, we just have like a burning dude. Like, I, I understand me looking dead. Skull. Tiefling of some kind. Succubus and that. Uh, and all. <laughs> Flame on! <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Wait, what was the answer? Wait, what? I don't remember. It's been like. Hours since I last talked to this thing.